This video tutorial from ExoCAD will show you how to design a single arch denture in detail. To start, run the Dental DB application. Select a client, dentist, for this project from the drop down list. Enter the name of the patient or case. Use a comma to separate surname and first name. Select the technician the same way as you selected the client. Note, the technician field is not mandatory. Click on the numbered tooth you want to design. Select full denture as the restoration type. Then choose the desired material based on the manufacturing technology you wish to use, milling or printing. For printing technology, you can choose print base and teeth if both the base and the teeth will be printed. Then under the options and parameters, you can choose to scan a pre-op model or a bite rim. Note, bite rim scan is not needed for single arch denture and the model analysis will be done on antagonist. Finish the restoration definition by clicking the OK button. Hold shift and click left mouse on the numbered tooth at the opposite end of the arch to copy this restoration type to the entire jaw. Select an antagonist. And then with shift, you can copy it to the entire jaw. You can use an articulator for the scan mode. Then click the save button to continue and proceed with the scanning. We will proceed using one of our demo samples. Click on the load button at the top of the dental DB window. Choose the demo sample called single arch denture sample. And then click on the load button. Note the material chosen for this job sample is print base and teeth. And teeth are connected to allow us to print them as a bridge. Now click on the design icon to start the CAD application. If you have chosen models in an articulator in scan mode and the respective module is activated, the first step in the main wizard will show the virtual articulator availability. Click Start Virtual Articulator now. The Virtual Articulator window will appear and you can adjust the articulator movement simulation parameters. This will be shown in a separate video. Click on Start Articulator Movement Simulation to save the movements. Select OK. Click on the Next button to proceed. The next step in the main wizard is the model analysis. By starting the model analysis, a secondary wizard will open to guide you through the steps. The work steps of the analysis are presented in a vertical list and these are very intuitive, self-explanatory tools. You can freely move between the different steps, but only the activated dark colored step icons can be clicked. All other step icons require a previous action to become accessible and appear highlighted. However, the simplest way is to follow the wizard by clicking the next button. Model analysis for single arch denture is done on antagonist. You can define the occlusal plane by three points or by articulator plane. In this video, we will choose define by three points. Note, the occlusal plane is crucial for the automatic placement. Set the first point on the occlusal surface in the middle of the first molar on the patient's left side, and then the second point in the middle of the first molar on the patient's right side, and the third point in the center of the arch. Click on Apply, and if the occlusal plane is in the correct position, select OK. You can also select Next on the Model Analysis window to approve the position. Follow the instructions explained by the preview picture and define the first molar positions on the antagonist. Proceed to next. Define first premolar positions. Proceed to the next step. Mark the mesial contact area of the central incisors. 
Proceed to next. To find the Rayfi median plane, you can use the auto detect or drag the plane to move it. Hold control to rotate if it's needed. Once you finish the final step, click OK in the analysis wizard. Proceed to the next step in the main wizard. The denture tooth placement starts with the selection of the tooth sets. The automatic suggestion is a result of the analysis. You can filter the libraries by scalable teeth or all. The filter only scalable is enabled by default, assuming you have allowed scaling from initial placement in dental DB for milling or printing. And filter all is the default when lock scaling during design has been selected in dental DB for using the stock denture teeth. Select the desired teeth set for posterior. Note, the alteration of the posterior teeth set will always be applied to both sides of the arch. Choose the anterior teeth. Placement of the second molar is optional. Click Auto Select if you wish to get back to the default selection. Click on Place Posteriors to apply the change. Once the posterior tooth set has been chosen, you may place the anterior. Proceed to Next. To meet the aesthetic requirements when setting up the teeth, the setup can be customized individually or with the aid of the chain tool. In this chain mode, you can transform all teeth in the chain or a single tooth in the chain. Chain mode is represented by a light blue chain. Within the chain, there are green control points and also dark blue UFOs which mark each end of the tooth bow. By default, teeth always stay in contact unless you deactivate the Keep in Contact checkbox. Click any point in the tooth bow and drag your mouse to move the whole tooth bow in a chain. In chain mode, you have the same options for the tooth placement as in simple mode. You may fix individual teeth at their current position by clicking the green control points to change to red. This will disable each movement for the deactivated teeth. For more details on the chain mode, please refer to the relative training video. You can visualize distance and intersections depths to the antagonist with the help of the color map from blue to magenta. For small corrections of individual teeth, you can use single mode. Hold the left mouse button to drag and drop and hold shift to scale the tooth. To rotate, hold control. In the single mode, moving or rotating a tooth may only change the position of the adjacent teeth as they all remain in contact in the chain. Click on Solve Antagonist Intersections to perform an automatic tooth adjustment which eliminates potential antagonist intersections. Or you can reset the chain. Hold Shift and click on Reset button. This will reset everything, but keeps the changes made in Simple tab. Holding Control and clicking on Reset button will reset all unpinned teeth. Once we have defined all the teeth positions, click Next to proceed. At this stage, you can edit the tooth shape with free-forming tools. Free, adds, removes, or smooths material with a virtual wax knife. Free-forming tools will be covered in a separate video. Anatomical free-forming allows you to adjust the tooth anatomy by tooth area. Note, you will only have these tools available when a scalable tooth library has been selected for milling or printing the teeth and cannot be used with stock teeth. If you wish to have further adaptation, select the desired adaptation type, occlusal or approximal. To cut intersections according to the selected adaptation type, click Cut Intersections.
you can choose between static or dynamic occlusion. The static adaptation type only cuts the intersections with the antagonist in its fixed position, and dynamic adaptation cuts the intersections that appear when the articulator movement was simulated, or cut all intersections at the same time. Proceed to next. Design Denture Base Bottom allows you to design the inside of the denture base and affects the fit of the denture. The most important task here is to define the insertion direction. You can rotate the view so that you look onto the preparation from the desired insertion direction and click Set Insertion Direction from the view. Or select the direction depending how you wish to insert the denture and click Apply to generate the base bottom. The default setting allows undercuts of 0.1mm. You can use freeforming if you wish to manually block out certain areas. The depth of the undercuts will be displayed corresponding to the known color scale. By using Offset to Scan Data with Brush in Freeforming Denture Base Bottom, you can create lateral and mid palette gap distances for palatal depth adaptation to the denture base. When you are done, click on the Next button to proceed. This step is the first stage of the denture base design, and the wizard will prompt you to draw the denture margin line. There is the option to draw the margin line manually or switch to Detect tab and use the margin line automatic detection. You need at least four points for the software to detect the margin line. Note, the further apart you place the points, the easier it will be for the software to detect the correct margin line. Click on Start to calculate the margin line. Once the drawing has been finished, you may still adjust the line by moving, adding, or deleting points. Adjust Light will activate special lighting, which can change the direction of the light source. If you edit the margin line or change the surface properties parameters, click Apply. Click on the Next button to start creating the denture base. Since we have activated connectors in Dental DB, the next step is the connectors step. By using connectors, we can design a bridge to be printed or milled as one complete object. It is recommended to place the connectors in a way to avoid intersection with your model. This will help to respect the minimum height and width of the connectors during the production. The minimum size of the connector can be defined either by its cross-sectional area or by its height and width. You can toggle between the two modes using the radio buttons. Then adjust the value using the sliders. You can also switch between different predefined shapes by clicking on the shapes. Advanced placement parameters allow you to reset and adjust the position of all connectors at the same time. You can define the connector's placement relative to the designed virtual gingival by adjusting the below gingiva design level parameter. or placing the connectors behind the approximate contact of the library tooth on the lingual side by adjusting the behind approximal contact parameter. Each change must be applied. Proceed to the next step. The denture freeforming tool differs slightly from the known crown and bridge freeforming tool. The anatomical freeform mode provides two different options. The default Denture Base Parts option allows you to move smaller parts of the denture base, whereas the entire denture base allows you to move major areas. Click on Denture Base Parts to adjust the interdental papilla and gingiva areas by drag and drop. Now, click on the Free tab to open the virtual wax knife. 
This tool behaves exactly the same as the known freeforming mode, where you may add, remove, or smooth material with different brush types, adjustable in size and strength. Use the point of knife to simulate the roots. Gingival characteristics, such as alveoli profiles or papilla contours, can be generated using different freeforming tools and setting options. It may also help you to make the digital gingiva look realistic by mimicking the roots of the teeth and the gingival pockets. You can even imitate the labial frenulum. You can use Smooth Tool to replicate the effect of the flame on the wax. You can use the freeforming tools to adjust the shape of the marginal gingiva. This tool can be used for the finishing touches. Choose the Entire Base Parts option to adjust the gingiva to the cervical margin of the teeth and to define the desired gingiva border thickness. Hold the left mouse button on a point to drag. Click on the Next button to proceed to the last step. In this step, the tooth will be adapted to the denture base and the denture base will be adapted to the model. The settings in this step should be adjusted and synchronized in relation to the manufacturing process. Click on Apply to create and adapt the denture base for the upper arch. Note, based on one single insertion access, the bridge will be blocked out from the denture base to facilitate easier insertion of the teeth after production. Click on the Next button to finish the denture restoration. Choose I'm done. Thank you for watching this video.